Sailor Fan Talk. So this is part two of Sailor Fan Talk. And today we're gonna to focus a bit more on how Home United became LCS and what are the changes after Home United became LCS. So Akari, you. Ab- Abdil, thank you once again for staying so late. Now it's now <laughs> no almost worries. midnight already and you guys are still here. Are we gonna celebrate Ethan's birthday here? Okay, I'm okay. gonna strip him naked. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put that pie? Sensor <laughs> YouTube. And then I'm gonna show you how it's being flashed. Okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, insert, for, insert the flash here. For all those who don't know, Ethan is actually behind the camera right now. So yeah, happy birthday to Ethan in like three minutes time. Three minutes, okay? But anyway, we really wanted to hear from the two of you because you guys were on the inside. A lot of us were on the outside, we see a lot of changes. Yeah. We saw like the back room stuff. It seems like it multiplied maybe two, three times. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 just two, three, right? I think a lot of <laughs> Okay, that's great. So hold that thought, right? So from your perspective, right, if you can start, maybe after you can tell us backroom stuff, what? If it's not two, three times, why is it five times? Hey, it used to be masseuse, we usually have one. You know, we, we had one masseuse and then uh, physio, we had to go outside. You know, it was being outsourced. So now we have, I mean, they have Kak Fiza. Yes. Then uh, they have Fazli, Daniel, Hakim. You know, so there are multiple people looking after their wellness. You know, I think, I think that's how football should be. You know, if only one person is looking after everything, twenty players, it's gonna be tiring for that player. It, 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 it's gonna be tiring for that person. You know, so by the time he massage the fourth player, he, he's gonna start on the fifth player. He's done. You know, and his hands are already. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so yeah, I think what what sailors are doing now is actually good to have everything under one house so that it's easier for them to communicate you know to to do their job it's going to be a lot easier. easier like okay this guy is injured so who who is go- so which department is he going to go to yeah. and all is under one house yes uh, like, so like it used to be injured you go to physio after when he's recovered you go to the strength and conditioning coach yeah, yeah. So Good it used to be we had to be oh okay today we have physio so we had to meet this physio outside yeah. you know so now it's all at the training ground it's all there yeah, it's all being done there and the specific demands of football are being communicated yes. all this stuff also yeah. it's not just a general physio yep. yeah. you guys even have a stretching guy if I'm not yeah, wrong yeah. Came Dr. Stretch. Oh, Dr. Stretch who came from Dr. Stretch yep. right? so yeah. Stretch, yeah it's quite interesting to see all this specialization but uh, as players besides the strength and conditioning side do you all also feel the impact of the other staff additions for example people in like the data la, or for example, maybe are there more people that help with transfers and all that? Scouting. 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 That one is Daniel job, right? <laughs> Daniel doing scouting. Oh, Daniel. So like, oh, like, okay. like data and all, we had uh, Fidos Masa. Right? Yeah, mm. he came in. He did a lot of work actually. Then we got to uh, check our data, like how much training we need to push, how not how, like when to push, when not to push. He actually bring the iPad on the face. That's actually got to do with the training bra, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one. Yeah, <laughs> Eddie, yes, yes. actually, if you all watch the second, first first episode, ah, uh, of Sailor Fan Talk, Eddie had something with the George. Yeah. When George takes out his shirt to celebrate, you see the training yeah, bra. Yeah, so that thing is actually quite good, lah. Uh. So, you know, you can know whether a player is putting in 100% effort yeah. or nice. not. Yeah, so yeah, so it is There's no place to hide, lah. Yeah, and yeah. then also now in modern football, yes, there's no such thing as oh you train like this every single day. Mm. Yeah, there's called um loading day, deloading. It's called periodization, lah. Okay. Yeah, so there are days where you train hard. There are days where you you don't train so hard. So by the time you reach game day, your body is fresh. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so it's it's those kind of things which will be depending a lot on this data. Yeah, so like like when when I was at Sailors with Coach Aurelio, every single day the intensity would be different. Yeah. So when by the time we reach game day, we know that we can give our hundred and ten percent. That's what they want, that's what we want as players also. Right? Yeah. yeah, to give our best. It's not like oh when we reach game day uh, we are share and all no yeah it's it's very deep. unless it's gonna be okay there's gonna be a three week break yes ah, so they know really okay this three week break we can add more higher intensity training yes oh, yeah training. through all this data because you have the added time to recover yeah, yeah. Yes. and they're just monitoring oh maybe that training session a bit too harsh so yeah yeah, yeah. The, the effects are shown yeah. 
And so you guys exactly. can have to tailor for the next session. Yeah. yeah. yeah so like, really like for me, when when he left uh, June, after that, Phil always came. Right? Uh, so like the data at his iPad, so he will bring it to the field. Then once everybody hit this color, like everybody is at max. Yes. Yeah, then for that session, then you will coach. Then coach will like, okay, time to cool down. Yeah. So that, that kind of thing. So oh, wow. that, that is the reading that we are. It's very professional. So like before that, both of us, we are using these so watches to go yeah. and... Do training, yeah, training. Yeah, doing training. Yeah, so we will see our own uh, yes. like, like like how many clicks we run, like like okay, uh during this training we are in which zone. Okay. Yeah, so we we would actually know as 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 players also like, oh okay, wow today I work so hard. Why uh? Why why is today's mm, why is it so hard today? Uh, yeah, uh, when it's supposed to be a very, very easy session. Uh why? Am I doing something wrong just now? Yeah. Uh, Maybe like, like, enough sleep yeah. or what? So like, like, like we are wearing day. watches with uh, body battery level. So when we sleep, yes. you know, how, how long we sleep, how many quality sleep, how much quality sleep we have. So mm-hmm. when we wake up, we always check our body battery level. And see. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so was there a difference between home and other else? Did home and other check that? Uh, like we don't use the GPS or Oh yeah. no, but I mean, did they ask for your phone? Uh, your oh no, no, this is on our phone. Yeah. yeah. The club didn't say like, okay, show me your no, no, readings. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. This but is just us something professionally yeah, taking care of ourselves. That, yeah. Understand. But as for the club, they're using the GPS, it's really another level. Because they will tell you like, yeah. they will taper the training schedules and all that. Like today, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, school. Mm, that's very interesting. So, yeah, very interesting. F- so for now, we've been talking about the football aspect of things. How about outside of football in terms of like human to human uh, relationships management and all that do you feel a big difference now that there are so many more employees do you feel like actually to be honest mm. not really because uh, our job is just to play football right? so like yes we know that the management mm. bodies will do okay, but evidently we just need to do our job we come to training we give our 100% and we go that's what we need to do we okay. do need to Outside football matters, we don't need to really care so much. Care so much. We just need to. We just leave it to Badri. Yeah. Just leave it to <laughs> okay, but Badri, you do this. Yeah. <laughs> whatever we need, like we we need help, we just find whoever lah. Other than that, we just come training hundred percent. Go home. That's our job. See, because like like when we were there, we know that our only thing the the only thing that we need to do is train hard, play hard. Uh, it's it's. I think what. What sailors is doing now actually is to make football a job, a real job. Like you are being paid well, so do this, Full do this time. with your life. Yeah. Focus. Yes. Right. Yes. Do everything with your. Yeah. You don't have a sideline job. Mm. You know you are being paid well. Do this with your full commitment. So basically, even off the training pitch, right? Like. Look, look after yourself Look after yourself yeah, yeah Look after your food And all So like So I think that was Being instilled in us So that is what We are still doing today Like how we look After ourselves You know I think For some It might just be a watch You know For us it's yeah, yeah, yeah For us We know that Okay You know This is a gauge for us Yeah Okay You know uh, It's like for us to Monitor ourselves Yeah So I think that's the least That we all can do As professional players yes. you know other than just or uh, giving our best on the pitch we should also also look after ourselves off the pitch also so I think that was what was being instilled in us lah, yeah. when, when we were at home net and also Lion City Sailors see. Yeah. Yeah. But that's an interesting story so I, I hear the mention that even in home United they are already being done yeah. like to instill this off the pitch yes, kind of yeah. discipline yeah. I think it went back 2058 20 2016 eh mm. with coach Philip coach Philip yeah mm. he already did that but there was not much uh, we didn't accept that idea too much mm. I was just oh okay yeah then done uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so as years go by you know yes. we we start to learn more you know and then um, I have this interest in strength and conditioning and all yes. you know, so along the way I learned how to look after myself better and all so yeah so that's where I get to know all this kind of stuff you know and then with him also you know doing all these things also so we kind of do these things together and Akari is an avid cyclist as well yeah, yeah. Yes. do you go cycling with him? no I don't do cycling no, he's uh, <laughs> uh, I don't I don't have that kind of hobby with him but those 
those other hobbies, yeah, we are, yeah, we have the same hobby. And you all talk about the same language, you all, like, Bro. give each other some tips and advice. Bro, he's like my younger brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so, technically, I know him inside out. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So, are there, um, especially for Akari, would you say there's a big difference in your early sailors here? So, was there a big difference between Coach Vidma and Coach Kim? <laughs> say things without getting anybody into trouble no, 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 that's okay no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. is there a big difference in the way they manage the team uh, Coach Horido was uh, interesting I like Coach Horido's uh, style being he was more mm. flair yeah. you know, build up you know. although the defensive side was a bit down but to me I like because I was always bombarding the flank I was always up there Yes. 70% of the match I'm always up there 30% of the way I need to defend because we have the likes of Shanda, Gopti. So all these ball players, you know, like Saifula. Yeah. So I don't need to worry about losing the ball because all our ball retainers players. Uh. Yes. Yeah. So we we'll keep possession most of the time. So I don't need to worry if I'm always up there. So Coach Aurelio is always say, just go, just go. Don't need to worry about if anything. <laughs> so it was quite interesting. Uh. For you, lah, for you. Yeah, for me, lah. <laughs> Almost all the team, so uh. mm. the whole team. Uh. Yeah. Under Coach Kim, uh, it was more of a directional play. Like he wants this team to play like this. It was also quite interesting. Sorry, ah, uh, the tactics noob here. What is directional play? More direct. Ah, yeah. Direct. Like okay. Coach uh, Aurelio attacking, he said, "Your own freedom, lah. Freedom. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want to do, you do. You want to cut. You want to cross. You want to shoot. You want to one two. You want to dribble. You want to turn three sixty. Whatever." Okay. As long as you make things happen yeah. Just make it happen So there's like uh, Trust in the players yes, too. Yes, yes. But Creativity All that has to be done In the last In the last third yeah. Before that There are fixed patterns Of players yes, right? yes. yeah. Yeah. So in the Defensive third Which yeah. is the third uh, That we are that Which is Hassan The back line uh, That is called The defensive third right. So the midfield third Is the halfway line Yes uh, yeah. It's that. Flanking the halfway line yeah. yeah Okay Okay. So that's a uh, Midfield third And then the last third Which is the Attacking third Yeah so the Attacking third You can do whatever You want to do You can go and express yourself Yeah so that's how Coach Vidi likes to play lah So during the build up If you would Take notice You would see how Shada and Saifula And all move around So You will see how They go and They, they go and rotate around mm. Yeah so that's what Coach likes to do No, uh, If this player come Cannot play Then he will move away uh, yes. So the thing about Shada is When he move away he will bring along these other players to go and follow him. Definitely. Because so they, they, they don't want to lose him also. Yeah. yeah. So they will create space like for Sephora, for Son, for Adam, yeah. Jason, whatever. It's quite interesting. Oh. So someone like I, my partner, my wing partner is usually Gabriel or Hafiz. So we have this understanding. Un- very good understanding. Uh, like when he goes, when Hafiz or Gabriel plays, both both have good understanding. So I know what they want. I know Hafiz's style. I know Gabriel's style. Yes. Yeah, so it's easy for me. <laughs> very easy. Okay, so difficult question, huh? So since you say that, who do you prefer playing with on the right? <laughs> <laughs> you say you like enjoy playing with both, uh, so both, uh, both, uh, both. <laughs> so I think both have different qualities, uh. Yes, very different. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yeah. In, I mean, just from a superficial point of view, the things they like to do are so very different. Yeah, because yeah. the things that I want from them, both of them can give me. Like mm. when I want to run. Yeah. When usually I will just give the call, I will run over my line, I say now, then they will just give. So whatever I want, they will give me. Yes. Uh, so when you make the overlap. Yes, when yeah. I make the overlap. Every time I will I will just give like like I will just say now. I will thank you. Give like, like to cut in, half is like to cut in. Yes. So that gives me space to run up and run up. Definitely. So they, yeah. they know already when they cut in, I'm always there. So I, I just need to say now, then they will just give. It's up to them uh, whether they want to give me. So usually I get what I need from both of them, so I okay with both. So if you don't say now, maybe because someone is marking you. If you don't yeah, say now, correct. they won't give. No one give. Okay. They know. They know how I play. They know how you play. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, Coach Kim, as you said, is more of a directional player. Yeah, directional player. So even in the attacking third, there are some patterns of play that he they, they prefer. Pe- yeah, he prefer. He we uh, last year training uh, session we always do attacking third. So like this this pattern, this pattern, this pattern. Which yeah. is also good I like so 
Because mm. it's so attacking man. I get yeah. to cross a lot yeah. And you know my crossing Guys, come on guys <laughs> You are <laughs> touch what Come on What are Come on My crossing <laughs> You are touch you are Alexander no Quality crossing <laughs> Come on <laughs> Don't put people on the spot like that lah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so No I mean Akari is easy uh, Akari last time when he played midfield right Oh, like, the, yeah, oh, it's like the balls into the channels, dude. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it was good, uh, Like coach came like, okay, do this, do this, and cross. Of course, we got we got George, what? Right? Big George. Mm, yeah, 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 So it's easy. <laughs> Especially when we are like drawing the game or yeah, losing yeah. the game, suddenly you will see him. Up, two up. strikers up top. Yeah, mm, it's good. Uh. Mm. But but talking back about like your your technique, you know, passing and all that, right? Which you enjoy, you clearly enjoy doing. Yeah. Uh, do you ever feel like? Alama, the teams I play with, right? I don't get to be on set piece duty. Cause of course you are quite a good set piece technician oh, yourself, oh, right? Shandam in the team, I don't you know don't even need to think whether we're gonna take or not. <laughs> <laughs> because you can also smash in a free kick or two, no, right? Yeah, young lions apparently you got Shadan, bro. Nice kick, <laughs> yeah, if, if, you got, if you got Shadan in the team then Shadan you Yeah, you know you know like in Singapore they are not very much te- Okay lah, there are a lot of technically gifted players, but in terms of free kick outside the box, you know, got very few. Actually, yeah, I feel like if you are right footer, so you go Shadan. So if you have a team, if you, you are teammates with Shadan, you don't do anything, you just give the ball to him. Bro, you know, we, we, we do that every single day. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, serious, serious. Every single day after training. After training. Me, him, Hafiz, and also Shadan. Yeah. Every single day. At least half an hour, okay? Of what? Taking free kicks. Yeah, yeah. We just play team. shooting, taking free kick every single day. And the goalkeepers like it also. Yeah. So, so it's a challenge for the goalkeepers. Huh? Whatever you see, Shadan do right. We saw it on a daily basis. Uh. And you will gladly admit that no challenge. Hey. Yeah. So you can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to talk. I need to see. In Singapore, got two legendary free kick takers. Oh. Uh, I mean, in my era, lah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Shadan Chef and Chef 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 Seriously, man, that guy's left foot is yeah. something yeah. else also. Hey. <laughs> Out on this world, yeah. <laughs> it's out this world. You see, like every time we got a corner, there was so much excitement. Not, not, not much that you you got, you got Shadan Zufami and Zufami. You, you know he's picky. He's mm-hmm. both yeah, of us are close to Zufami. Zufami. Yeah, you see, he's left foot. Then you got Shafiq Gani. Also. Shafiq Gani. Ah, yeah. Shadan Zufami. They are not much. Uh, there are not many players who can do it. You know, but you know if the players this this place that you know that can do it, it's all people. I think uh-huh. you you see Zul also doing it. Yeah, yeah. Man, quite. You see, Lion Show Day, how many yeah. free kicks he bang in? <laughs> yeah. Shabir Gani as well. If yeah. I have to put my money on free kick at ninety ninety one minute, two names only came on my Shabir Gani, three ah Shabir Gani, uh Shadan and Zufami only. You know, ninety percent, ninety five percent will go in. Right? <laughs> yeah. It, it, it only depends on which side. Yeah, uh, which side. Uh, which side. Uh, which side. It's not just technique, right? It's also mentality, right? To be like, as you say, ninety first minute. Yeah. Near ago. Yeah, yeah, correct. You want certain players who are a bit more calm, like, calm mm-hmm. to go for it. You want like the Suzuki Cup, your ten men. Yeah, you know I think I think that, that free kick yeah, ah. Yeah, I had that feeling, man. I was like, I think he's going in. Yeah, I want the pressure. <laughs> but that what we want like this really, ah. Yeah, before but it was a uh, yeah end up. Uh, I thought I thought it was still a good day actually. Yeah. Yeah, I felt good watching yeah, that, that game. Good. Yeah. Uh, and now, now I mean, just talking about just now, we talked about how you have like teammates who you mm. gladly uh, you admit that you know you play well with them and all that. So it it must be quite hard that when the sailors obviously invested in a lot of depth, yeah, uh, many like players came in and yeah, all yeah. that mm. quality players. How did you deal with the I mean the competition, the occasional like you know at first like benching mm. and then sometimes not even making the bench even. Yeah. How do you deal with that? Because like in home United days. You guys are first name on team sheet. True. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's football. Right? It's football. Yeah. It's football. Professional football. You always the last, have competition. Yeah. Right? I think the last six months of it was quite hard. You, you, know, you, you didn't play, I think. Yeah, I didn't play you at didn't all. Play at all. Uh, I didn't play at all. Uh, till it began to take a toll on me. Eh. Okay. Uh, I think for him, Hafiz and Shadan, I think they all can see. Uh, it was really taking a toll on me until I decided that you know I think it's best that I go and that I leave it's hard lah you know mm. it's quite a hard decision to make yeah, but I think at the end of the day uh, it's the club is moving forward yeah, so I don't want to be I don't want to be the anchor yeah, so 
yeah so yeah so I left the ship lah yeah but all these marine terms yeah. <laughs> it's because it's the same yeah. <laughs> right. yeah so yeah lah so but for me I think having competition is good you know it keeps everyone on their toes but that being said uh, I'm just gonna say it lah <laughs> you know I think being fair is also one thing you know okay yeah because I think uh, there were times where, where, where I felt that coach Aurelio was being unfair yeah okay yeah to be honest yeah yeah that 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 was how I feel lah okay. you know uh, it, until it began to feel like um, I was always playing on my toes I couldn't make a mistake If I get, if I made a mistake, my name would be up. Mm. Like, up there, up there. Then the same player be making the same mistake. Then no one would be saying anything, you know. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah. So it 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 was quite hard for me at that point of time. Uh I think Coach No was helping me a lot also through throughout the the whole time. Yeah. But I understand it's it's just football lah. You know, yeah. uh, maybe that's how he handled his team. You know, I cannot say anything. I'm I'm just a player. Yeah, so I totally respect his decision. But for me as a player, I think, yeah lah. I think things could have been done better lah. Mm-hmm. You know, but all that being said, you know, I I I actually understand that it's just football lah. Yeah. yeah. For Akari yourself, I mean, you you did have appearances. Yeah, I did. I mean, in fact, you play against Balestier. You know, yeah, now, now, now very rousing victory then. a bit tense ah, in the stands mm-hmm. because at first we thought everybody's gonna whip and yeah. 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 yeah, and then we were having a bit of trouble also um, but how do you deal with the reduced minutes? Uh, you have because a few at that point of time hmm. uh, when Coach Kim came uh, I thought I thought I would be playing a lot like, he told me that I'm one of his first few players ah. Mm. Then after that, I think over the period of time, things things change, and he had different preferences what he wants in the game. Then yeah, it's football, it's it's okay. Ah. But over during that point of time, it's not like it's not like I'm thinking, eh, hey, why I'm not playing? Why I'm not playing? It's not that. Like, it's not about because at that point of time, we were chasing to become champions. Right? We were chasing. Right? And yeah. Rex was like going, going, going. And we were chasing. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Yes, I want to play, but at the same time, at the, at the same same time, so I I must think about the team. I cannot be sulking. Say, mm. I cannot. Uh, yeah. Why never play? I don't want to train. I know what. I will give. I will still give. I will come training. I will turn out this hundred percent. Have the team. Whatever the team needs. The coach team sometimes replace me. Uh, for the first team, I will I will just perform. Yeah. So yes. it's it's more more about the team, uh. Yeah, so because it's not just as a professional, but also you have relationships with your teammates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are all very yeah. close. Uh, so. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. So, maybe talk us through a bit more. Maybe this one Abdul will take a back seat a bit because I will ask, how did, how did the squad feel uh, after Elvira got that last minute equalizer? Oh, like was I know great. Abdul was not at the yeah. club at that time. Yeah. But yeah. How I, did how did how was the mood in the dressing room? Uh, how was the WhatsApp chat group? Was it? Uh, the WhatsApp chat group. Uh, our CEO Chunang sent a very positive message, with, which changed the. The period, uh, the time. Then after that, the next game, we will fire. Right? Yes. Uh, so we keep on encourage each other. Uh, coach also was like, "Don't worry." Uh, yeah, it was. It was. It was heartbreaking for us. Ah, uh. uh, it was. I was very angry. You know. You know. Why were you angry? Yeah. Because of the referee. Uh, it was shit referee game. Uh. Actually, I can't really remember it. You know why I can't remember? Usually, when I remember bad refereeing I'm performances, I <laughs> it's because the team, the team, uh. They maybe didn't play so well. Needed like one or two decisions yeah, to yeah, work, yeah. but we played them well that day. Yeah, yeah. I remember I, that game. I, I I remember I was very angry with the referee. Uh. I don't know which one. Uh. I don't point. I don't want to say <laughs> him. But I so forget who actually. But I, I know. Who, yeah. But Albrecht's game is it? Yeah, but I, but, <laughs> but I know I was angry because our changing room, yes. our the, our changing room, our the referee changing room is right below exactly. us. Yeah. So I was going in and I was like, effing the referee outside. The, the referee was inside. I was just shouting. I was. Emotions got over me, yeah, because yeah. we really thought we really wanted to win one, and we were winning until the last minute. Yes. Uh, so emotions got over me, and I was like walking back to the gym. I was like, I think the referee outside, 
Yeah. I, I told you, you got a shit game with you. Like, which I, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's of not course. a question, a question. It's just emotions go with me. Yeah. It was very heartbreaking. Uh. So after that, we picked, us, eh, picked ourselves up from there and we started to... I think that loss made us gel more even more together. Like after, during the trainings, like, we were more together. Our togetherness was more, I was in room inside. Uh. We were gelling up very, very well uh, for the remaining games of the season. Mm. So that was actually the turning point. Uh. But at that moment, okay, I'll be very honest, at that moment, I thought we lost it. Like, yeah, yeah. That's all it. of us think, thought we uh, lost right. it. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you also thought you all lost it. Was any was there any player who was no? The super optimistic say no, they will sleep up. Trust me. Everyone, uh, everyone said that lah. Yeah, everyone said that lah. You say don't worry lah. I think. Cause I also say lah. I yeah. say to my friends, but I inside I think no. <laughs> I was like, everybody's gonna win all their games. <laughs> to us no, we, we we will fight. We will, we we all keep on fighting, emphasizing, saying that just fight till the end. Lah. Yeah. You never know what is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Inside. And Tampines did us a big favor. Yeah, that's After, right. yeah, they lost to us by big margin. Then yeah. they. Correct, correct. So what were you doing at the during the nil nil with Tampines? <laughs> were you watching the game? <laughs> of course, everyone was. <laughs> After the game, our our group chat exploded. Up, yeah, exploded, blew up. Because yeah. you all knew, right? That's your chance. Of course. Then from there, we just you know did our thing. The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> rest is history. <laughs> no, I mean it's great. I mean we we are all football lovers here, and I'm sure we can remember in history, even in like when we watch the English Premier League or whatever, yeah. there are teams that cope. Well, yeah. with setbacks, and then there's our favorite team, Arsenal, that sometimes don't cope too well with the setbacks. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we're on a good run now, so. Yeah. We're on a good run now. I can't say the same. Don't, don't say anything, don't say anything. I'm gonna jinx it, okay, don't say anything. Please, please, guys, yeah. please join me with touch, <laughs> touch wood. Okay, hopefully. Then, but yeah. Then you know, the last game of the season, everything was on, on the table. Mm. So, uh, it was very. Were there, were there nerves in the dressing room before, or do you all feel like, nah, we're gonna win this? Bro, we we had COVID situation bro, at the hotel. We we checked in you know, at a good hotel. Was this public knowledge? No, no. What was the COVID? Eh? But who was ruled out? Amiru Ali. Uh, so I I'm not supposed to play the game. I I'm not starting. So Amiru uh-huh. Ali got COVID. Then touch moving to the back there. I started the game. Right yeah. Oh, that's why touch. <laughs> yeah, touch moves the back. So, it was very last minute. You know, like the night before the game. No. So yeah, the night before the game, I was in uh, Kak Fiza's uh, physio doing my treatment. Yeah. Then Haris, uh, Haris called Kaka and saying that Kak Ali is positive. Then all of us, me, the room was Haris, me, uh, Hafiz and Kak Fiza only four people. So then after that, Kaka informed coach. Then the next morning, coach was saying to me, okay, you're starting today. The, that morning, no? The yeah. game morning, you're starting today, touch his place and the back. Yeah, because so, George was out also, right? Yeah, George was out also. So, Coach say, Coach never say anything to me. I say, you, you know what to do, right? you do your thing. So, then, right. that's this one also, right? And then also, Harris came on injured. Oh, man. <laughs> was he? Did he create more tension? <laughs> when Harris he, when he was sitting, I say, Harris cannot, he say cannot, man. cannot. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. And guess who played the back? Shadon, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, someone. Hey, after but he had a good game, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If Belize stay qualified, it's almost like shit. Then like one one. Yeah. Then after that, who else came to the rescue? But what a cross! <laughs> <laughs> Two one going to the yeah, break. Yeah, brilliant. That is a moral yeah. booster, one. Right? No, really, really. It's a big moral booster. And yeah. even for if you think about it, right? Not. Do you say thank you to Zach Lam? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good cross. <laughs> you better say thank you to him. He had a good jump. You. He had a good lead. <laughs> <laughs> you better say thank you to him. No, it was a quality of a cross. Yeah. No, 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 you say thank you first. Like <laughs> he, he is saying you are, you are welcome. He's watching, he's watching. Yeah. Yeah, so going into the half time to watch the Moel Muster. Then like, we know second half. Okay. So two things. Uh, I run up. Zach, I also play goalkeeper. <laughs> so I have every sympathy for you. I have made the worst shit mistakes as well. But keep, keep plugging away. And second, yes, it was a good cross. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you know, right, the Akari's impact on the last game reminded me a bit, like, I don't know if you feel it as an Arsenal fan, now, but it was a bit of a sweet feeling for me. It was a bit like, you know, Mertesaka when he came on in the FA Cup final, yeah. despite not playing much. Actually, that, that was a bit more exaggerated because he didn't even play at all the whole season. Mm. But Akari was still playing on and off, but he started, and I at the time, I just thought, uh, actually, I, I didn't know about COVID. 
So I thought coach wanted to give you. I a think not. Not many people know. I think if is if you show it going this only also won't make much of difference. Yeah, I mean because we already title champions. Yeah, that's why. Right. But honestly, you know what I thought? I thought coach put you there because it was your last game. So it's not lah. <laughs> there I was thinking, oh, so sweet lah. Like they give him a last game. <laughs> no, because let him win the title. So last game on the game day, coach. The morning coach. Ah, game, okay. Game okay. Starting. But I mean, I think we all watched it and we know that. What a game Akari had yeah. It did not look like He was an emergency Drafted replacement yeah. And all that Which I think goes to show Levels of professionalism But of course also ability Right It's not like You're some scrub Who like Never play But just Then, cheer leader yeah. who, who shouted to me I was like uh, We were leading 3-1 or 4-1 Or 2-1 I forgot uh, Then I got the throw in Then I was speaking the ball Then like the Yeah fans Fans were yeah. saying uh. Hey 3-3-3-3 We champion now Serious or serious We champion <laughs> You know who look like A very anxious schoolboy you know? Aris Harris He yeah. was on the bench And said Guys what's the score What's the score oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then I never seen Because Harris is usually so like Calm Calm Confident and everything But he like At that time He looked like such an anxious Oh no I know I was yeah. subbed out already 80 plus minute uh, I didn't know the score Because uh, Yeah I was subbed out And then George came in right Then I was like sitting on the bench and like I turn and I'm like, eh, three, 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 three or four, four, like, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. We champions, four, 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 four. Because at first was four, zero. I was sucked up. It's four, two, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. First, yeah. We were champions, you know, we see this, we like celebrating. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a moment. 80th minute, we have all. Balik kampo. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, in the stands, right, we we shush some people, no? They say, yeah. uh, Can't be on as A, shut up. No. Like, no, not yet. Don't drink it. You know, the, the, the day before the game, right? We had the banner right, at the, the champion. <laughs> yeah. So we we were training, we were looking. Wow. Pressure. Like, pressure. Of pressure. Of course, Because they made the banner already, bro. Yeah. Just, they rolled out, then when we champions, they just rolled it It's out. like that, but I mean, you know yeah, that yeah, meme yeah. where they always say, right, like in like uh, in Africa, there are always a lot of people wearing the t-shirt of champions of the NBA losers. Yeah. <laughs> And because they printed they these t-shirts, they had to give it to someone. But how sweet was that memory for you? Very, very sweet. Yeah. Because... So my first SPL title right? Yeah So It could have been sweeter If he's around lah Because I wish Because Bro we were at that club Since nothing yes. <laughs> And then we had, Until we are champions right? We were there what, Through tough Through high You, you know, So yeah. I, was, I wish that he was there In the team lah to, to achieve this yeah. It was yeah. quite Quite sweet lah Very memorable But then I think I had this talk with them no? Actually yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I told them You know, even if we become champions at the end of the year, I don't know how to bring myself to go up there and celebrate with the team. Yeah. I know what you mean. Because I... He's also part of the team, right? He's registered yeah. as I know a what player you in 2021 as yeah. a seamless. So I know what you mean. But actually, yeah. I, I feel like this is my, 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 my philosophy is that if you're part of the team, you're part of the training, you're part of the WhatsApp group, yeah. Correct. you deserve. Yeah, because I think, you know, I think for me as a player, you know, I want to have that that contribution also, you know, be it one, two minutes, you know. I like, know what like, I mean. Like, because at the end of the day, trainings are trainings, you know. Yeah. It's 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 on the game day itself, you know. Like, like the if you follow the English Premier League, yes, they would have actually, f- you need to start five games or you need to play at least five games for mm. you to earn that medal. Last time it was 10 games, I think. Yeah. 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 So... Yeah. In a way, I don't think I even if I stayed, I I don't think I deserve that thing. I see what you mean. Like. Yeah, because I didn't make really like 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 for him. You know, he went in, he gave the assist. He helped you know. to close out some games. Yeah, you know, early on in the season know, as well. Yeah. yeah. So for me, um, I don't know how the players that didn't play can go up there and celebrate as if they won themselves. So. I I see what you mean. With yeah. so much like. Passion and everything yeah. lah. When when for me on the other hand, I'm the first team player, but I cannot see myself going up there and taking the whole thing and and holding it by myself like like I did something throughout you the whole will, season. You will just celebrate with them, but yeah, like, politely at the side, yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah because I know of my own contributions to the team. Yeah, yeah. it's not about the yes ah. Uh, people will say oh you win you get money right. Yeah, uh, but I think I can find the money. Mm. Yeah, but the s- satisfaction of trying to win it, it's a lot. Different. Yeah, it's a lot different for me. Yeah, yeah I think I. Yeah, I think it, it's 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 just me as a player and as a, and 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 as a person. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think we we had a good walk down memory lane. Ah, uh, looking through many key memories. Ah, uh, one question that ah uh, maybe a lot of people have been asking. A lot of people have been criticizing. Ever since the change from Home United to LCS when we got privatized, mm. a lot of money has been pumped in. Some people call us the Manchester City of Singapore. Yes. Ah, uh, so maybe this money has helped us to win the title, lah. But do you think that we are all all about money, all about, uh, like we are just a rich club, no heart, no soul. We paid our way to win the trophy, or we paid our way to reach that stage. Your thoughts? Ah, uh, yeah. At the end of the day, this is a business thing. You know, you look at Man City, you look at PSG, you look at what Newcastle is trying to do now. You know. Obviously, money is going to attract the best players, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you look at what Johor is doing, hmm. yeah, you know, at first they were the only ones who were having those kind of things, you know. But then slowly, in the next couple of years, and then you see until today, most of the clubs are trying to follow in their direction, yeah. which is it's a good boost for their league, right? So. In a way, you know, I think it's gonna be good. Yes, at first people, uh, the rest of the league might think, oh, it's it's unfair and all. But there will be a point where people think, okay, this has to stop. They have to stop winning. We need to do something for our club. Mm. Yeah. So they they would need to say, okay, what sellers doing is trying to put in money. You know, then what what do they do with the money? Uh, you, you cannot have one billion dollars and then you just throw it anywhere. Uh, you don't see lion city sellers doing that. Right? They they have a plan. Yeah. yeah. So I think in the next few years to come, I think you will see the rest of the clubs trying to follow the footsteps of lion city sellers. Yeah, challenge. Them. Yeah, because I don't think people want to see. Oh, never mind. Ah, we just let them win. Ah. Then, yeah, yeah, absolutely right. I think you can already see some effects. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna say. I think. A lot of the clubs, right? Maybe used to neglect social media. Yeah. yeah, yeah see, but it now it there are some clubs in the league. It you look at them, really. clearly improve. Yeah. yeah. Whether yeah. or not they're pumping money into it, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. maybe there's more thought going into yeah. it or something. Yeah. Yeah. It looks nicer. These small, because, small things really starting. Yeah. Like it, right? so because I think, really right? When when you look at home method, ah. Uh, yes. Before we had all this money, ah. Uh, Kahui. The yeah. media really was really good. Yeah. You look at what the social media was 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 all about, ah. Uh, At home, netted, like our photos taken, what was being posted, the banter with Persija, you know, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know. So that that yeah. I think kind of attracted the business, yep. you know. Ah, uh, it kind of Quality attract. La. It kind of attract people to come and watch. So when people come and watch, people will come and pay, right? Definitely. Ah, uh, so the money will come, right? and then we yeah. as players also have to reciprocate. The kind of things that our media are doing, right? Yeah. Yes. So if the media is doing good, we need to play good. Yes. So in 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 when when both things go hand in hand, then people will see, eh, this is actually going to make me money. Yeah. I don't mind my brand being associated with these people. Yeah. 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 So and then more people want. To, so I think it's not just about on the field. I think there is a lot of departments which are going to go hand in hand actually. Yeah. So okay. Just already just now this this interlock ah uh, yeah you need all of this to go and interlock together uh. yeah if this thing don't go and this this few fingers don't go and don't go and interlock together it's there is gonna be gaps right absolutely yeah, so, right yeah so all of this need needs to be interlocked yeah yes. so all of these different departments needs to go hand in hand for for the rest of the clubs to go you know that's that that is how I feel as a player you know yeah yeah. You know, it's very interesting that they, uh, that Abdul has brought all this up because actually one of our last questions is, what do you hope to see in the league landscape in the long run? But I feel you already answered like three quarter of it. <laughs> Basically, up the social media game, up yeah. every department because yeah. it all goes hand in hand. You need your corporates to come in, yeah. right? You up a little bit, then maybe the corporates can come in and then you take it Hopefully, then even the higher. Investors to come in and take over the clubs, huh? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. But I think the the good thing what what uh Shopee did was. They didn't take full control of the club just like that. Yes. They allow the home United administrators to stay on at the club yeah, to help right. them. 
to help them have the transition mm. yes you know if because I, i'm not saying that shopee don't know anything about football yeah you know they 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 invested in the malaysian league the indonesian league you know but when you invest in a club i think it's a lot different yeah so i think they had the home net administrators to stay to help them um uh, have the continuity yes yeah as a as a whole yes yeah so it's going to be a lot easier because i think the the people there uh because i think this is how i feel uh, uh when you run a company you run a football club it's different mm, okay uh, it's it's a totally different thing right okay. uh, yeah so yeah so i think what what they did best was when they 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 kept all those people there yeah they go and bring it over uh yeah. Yeah, so I think that was what made the transition for us also, uh, for us yeah. as players also, because we were used to the old administrators, what? Right? So if they were to use people who don't know anything about football, it's gonna be very difficult. Right? Yeah, for us to oh, communicate. Even if, they, even if they know football, but they don't know you guys at yeah, all. Yeah, right? it's it's gonna be like, hard for us to go and communicate also, right? Yes. Like, like, hey, what is the what what do these players actually want? Ah, uh, so they don't know what we want. We also don't know what 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 they want yeah. uh, so like like when the transition was there it was actually quite there was not a lot of changes uh, we didn't feel out of place it was just the name change the badge change but everything was the same yeah right yeah right yeah the th- th- thanks for your thoughts so as I said that was one of the final questions actually uh, we did want to ask also um, you know everything goes hand in hand so on the field performance goes hand in hand and You've seen all the work that the LCS Academy has been doing. Yeah, of course, brilliant, right. brilliant work. They went out to Europe. Yep. A lot of people in Singapore, all the Tiba Warriors, would have thought that they'll go and embarrass themselves, <laughs> but they didn't. Yep. They turned in some very positive results, and actually Joseph and I, we eaten as well. We stayed up to watch some of the games, and yeah. we were quite impressed actually. Like we thought, hey, there's a bit of talent in here, but. What advice do you have for these players in the academy? What advice do you have for players in other academies in Singapore? What do you think made you guys what you are today, and how can they reach your levels, or maybe even could be better? Keep working hard. Yeah, yeah. I think never give up. Keep yeah, well. you. There are a lot of things on social media. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, choose the good things, eh? All right, so uh, I thought it was very nice that um, they talked about how you know everything needs to come together off the field, on the field. Everything needs to come together for LCS to progress, for Singapore to progress in football. We also follow with interest the LCS Academy boys when they went all the way up to Europe, and a lot of people predicted they might embarrass themselves and all that, but they didn't, despite not playing eleven aside football for so long due to COVID, yeah. mm-hmm. right? So, what advice do you have for these? Budding professional footballers in the LCS Academy and also other academies in Singapore. I mean, take a look at what what the first teams are having now. You see, We've got sports science, mm. everything they have. So they must look up to the first team and say, "I want to be there." So they must keep working hard because everything is there already. You just need to keep working hard to make your way over there. You're know, playing like you're going to play at Champions League. Who doesn't want to play Champions League? We want to play Champions League. Yeah. <laughs> Top level, right? highest level in Asia. Yeah. So, uh, so everything is there already, right? When you're in academy, like your pathway is you know up to the first team. Right? And there's the upcoming Mata Road training yeah, facility right. as everything well. Everything is there already, so just keep working. Where they have their own kitchen and yeah. everything apparently. Everything yeah. is being taken care of. You just need to put your heart and soul and keep working. Right? And it's not going to be easy. Right? Mm-hmm. Nothing's easy. Right? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I think it just continue from what he just said. You know, the road, the road is not going to be easier. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you might not be playing now. You know, I think for the both of us, when we were in our younger days, we weren't playing as much. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't stop. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, I think the most important thing for them, you you will face a lot of obstacles. You know, um, sometimes you might feel that it's the end. Just don't stop. Just you you know that you need to dig deep, you know. Just put in the work, lah. Everything is there for you. Yeah. You cannot say that. Oh, I don't have time. You 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 are always gonna have time. 
Yeah, you just have to make time for it. If it's important to you, you are going to make time. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you think football is football is important to you, football is going to be your future. Then you make time. Don't yeah. stop. Yeah. yeah. There, there is going to be a lot of hard work. The road to success is not going to be easy. Mm. Then the road to success is not. It's not just hard work. You're gonna to, gonna to need luck. Yeah. yeah. So that luck is going to come if you don't stop. Yeah. So don't stop. So yeah. like to some of the academy players like. Some of them are already in the team or the team, so like they cannot have that mindset. Oh, in a few more ten, five, ten years, I'm going to be in the yeah. like city more. It's not easy. Yeah. You, you will never stop. Yeah, you <laughs> can, cannot be complacent. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not easy. Yeah. Yeah. because you have you have to always think that there are better players. There are better players than you. you know? There are better players than you. And LCS yeah. doesn't have to just pick from LCS academy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you can simply go. Hey, that chat from many academies. Tampines is great. Yeah, you take that guy. Yeah. yeah. So, You need to Because work hard, uh. right now at this moment, everyone wants to be here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Everyone wants to be here. Everyone wants to be at the LCS Academy mm. because yes. it's 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 one of the best. Yeah, yeah. it's the best. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in best. fact, I think it's it's actually the best right yeah, now. Mataro is really yeah. I think is the best. And uh. and with the Mataro building, when it it's going to be open, it's going to be the top. You know, so everyone is going to be there. If you think you are the only one who wants it. Behind you, you try to take a look behind you. There's gonna be a lot more hands coming thousand after more, you. More. Yeah, so you better keep your spot. Yep. Yeah, yeah, because like for us, we know when we become sailors, we know there is gonna be a lot of people coming for us. Yeah, yeah. So, but but I think it's 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 gonna if you take it in a good way, you are going to improve. Yeah. yeah so I think it's how you take it in. Uh. Yeah. I think that's very inspiring, and powerful words yeah. from. Both Abdul and Akari. Mm-hmm. Joseph, do you have any closing uh, questions? Yeah, I think like you all mentioned a lot of things about how your time in sailors has a lot of memories down the road, and I think uh both Eddie and I have gathered a lot of uh inspiration from you guys also lah. <laughs> uh, and I think suffice to say we can say that maybe the time in sailors also have made you all like better people. Like just now you're giving advice about how the these kids yeah, uh yeah. should work hard all these other sort of thing. And I'm sure your time at uh sailors, even though at the end you had to leave and look for future uh new clubs and everything, but I'm pretty sure that now in your even in your new clubs you are pushing yourselves to the limits and everything. Never stops. Yeah, never never stops. <laughs> so yeah, I think kudos to you guys for that. Uh, and yeah, we as uh past uh fans of like when you were sailors, I think we are really like roaring you guys on lah, and we are so proud to see uh how far you have come. Uh, as players and as human beings also lah. Appreciate it. Uh, really, really great, and we are yeah. really pri- privileged to have you guys join us thank you. here today. Just like also. how, just like how we are here. Thank, yeah. you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So really, once again, a uh, a big thank you to both Abdul and Akari for coming all the way down to my house to film this. It's now twelve forty five a.m. Happy birthday, Ethan! <laughs> Happy birthday, Ethan. <laughs> Happy birthday, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, right. now time to flash you. <laughs> <laughs> so. We won't hold them back any longer, and so really, we just want to thank you all for watching this. And um, please, if you see them in uh, public, please don't be a stranger. Say hi to them. Just yeah, flash. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't flash them though. Don't flash them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very friendly, you know. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so we have seen it firsthand, lah. Yeah. And so this has been Eddie. This is Joseph. Abdul and Atari. Thank you for watching. Bye. Ciao.